Pirates, thieves, scoundrels, the terror of the seas, and pillagers of your booty. Perfect reference material for a kid's show. Can't wait for hoodlums to sing the alphabet. Welcome to the show, dear viewer. Today, we're gonna explore a small group of games dealing with piratry. Trying to figure out which ones are worth your time and which ones just suck. So, we're gonna start with the best of the best, the king. Sid Meier's Pirates for PC. Also on PSP, but I'm not gonna talk about that one. The main character's family is having some money issues and become literal slaves thanks to their debt. The ship carrying a large fortune that was brought to them was sunk. And this Party City Premium member suddenly bursts in and takes away your family. Main guy escapes, eventually sets out on a journey to find the family. He joins the crew, but the captain goes plantation owner on them and goes as far as hitting the crew. They mutiny. You become the captain, and the adventure begins on the high seas. You can sail all over the Caribbean, plunder ships, interact with the many ports, and flirt with the many governor's daughters for free stuff. There's sword fighting, battles at sea, looking for buried treasure on land, and showing off your dance moves at the local ballroom. There's some elements of trading involved, but it's mainly for the loot you get from other ships. But if you wanted to, you could be a merchant and trade around the ports. The main problem I have with the game is that it gets sort of old really fast, but I'm sure there's more to it if I dig real deep and I am the difficulty, but I just can't seem to get on with the story. I wait around for the pirates to show up so I can rescue the family, but they never do. And also, the wind is always blowing in one direction, which makes it really difficult to go back to other places once you sail so far away. All in all, this is the standard that all pirate games that we're looking for should be, and it is a masterpiece. And I love it. But that's just my opinion. And it's the only one that I play with this much depth, so let's see if I can find another one. Oh, also, I'd like to bring up that while researching games for this video, I came across the granddaddy of Sid's Pirates. It's simply named Pirates for the NES. This is pretty much the same game, and it blew my mind that such a complex game could exist back then. Sure, maybe a little hard to control and it's outdated, but hey, this is the old days. The fact they pulled it off deserves some recognition. Alright, next, I'm gonna bring up the Tradewinds franchise on PC. These are the games everybody tries to copy. The main focus is trading, buy low, sell high, gather your riches, upgrade your ship, stay out of debt, and take on the pirates and story modes and the quests and all that. Any game on this franchise is fantastic and I recommend any of them. The problem is that you're not really playing a pirate, you're a merchant. Unless you pick the pirate character, but still. Highly addicting games, they're super good, super fun. If you can, give them a try. Highly recommended. I'm gonna shut up. Alright, back on track. I picked this one not really because of the title, I just said, hey. It's one of the Pirates of the Caribbean games, there's like three on there, so... The best way to sum it up is that it's a fan game. With some really wonky movements, where the developers flash the paycheck in front of the actors and tell them to read a bunch of lines. Just here, have a listen. A man who purchased the information from a man who won a bet with a man who swore on pain of death that it's likely not anywhere else. I stake my good name on it. Jack, your name is synonymous with Weasel. Other than that, mediocre but entertaining, especially if you have somebody to play this with. Not sure how the other games are, but if they come close to this one, you could get some enjoyment out of them. There's also these other two games on PlayStation 2, which are similar to Pirates of the Caribbean, and you go around hacking and slashing, but they don't really fit the kind of game we're looking for. These are all just hack and slash, you're just going around beating people to death, it's not, there's no really, we're not looting anything, we're just finding treasure all over, the, this is, I could play Mortal Kombat Shaolin Monks and get the same enjoyment, or actually more enjoyment than I do from these games, but, still, <sighs> sadly, after a while, found a game that probably could have been nice, but I could not get it to run, so, uh, we're just gonna end this with a little game called Skull and Crossbones. Listen to that tune, it just jumps out at you and then it's gone. Oh, look at that to-do list, that's uh, telling me what, what I need to do without any context, you're just like my mother. Alright, so things went down and why are pirates after a princess? 
The wizard? What? Oh, and then you're just dropping me here. Okay, no problem. All right. So something about not wasting weapons, some handy information about the super jump, which I found out on my own after a while. And uh, we're in. Okay, getting attacked by mommy. This is a lovely place. That's my kind of party. All right, so I just gotta go this way, get to the end of the level, and now my what? What? Oh, okay. All right, that's the wizard. He's got the princess, and he's creeping up on her or something. I don't know, whatever floats your hormones. Jeez, freaking, freaking old man over there is trying to grow, get get in there already, man. I mean, I don't I don't condone this. I don't approve of this. But you just gotta like stop being a creep and just get to it, get it over with. Gosh. Anyway, the game is hectic. The controls are slippery, and I don't want to say this, but it's the perfect description. Every level is the ice level. You're catapulting all over the damn place, trying to pick up all these weapons and coins, which are technically irrelevant because I don't care about my score, I just want to beat the damn game. <sighs> so I come to a point where I need more weapons because I used them all, and I'm dead. Okay, enough of that. Oh god, we went so far away from the idea of what a pirate game should look like. And I know that there's many other titles beyond the horizon, but I can't explore them all because I just kind of can't because, yeah, reasons. So, thank you for your time. I hope I didn't take too much of it. I'm trying to keep this short. If you made it all the way to the end, congratulations! You get my thank you. Hope you found something here you like. And as usual, our likes and comments are appreciated. And if you find another good pirate game, do let me know somehow. Well, this was Panda, and I'll be sailing away to a better tomorrow, waiting for Pirates of the Caribbean Online to come on. Come on, developers, you guys gotta hurry this thing up. Come on, I really, I really want to play this game. Oh my god. Anyways, until next time, dear viewer.